Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to and welcome. And with my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for, you know, pushing out positivity. Loving yourself is where you're loving others. And, you know, we're making our, you know, our blessings go wild. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or a friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, you know, give me a thumbs up and like and even share on your social media favorites as well. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the music, the meditation music I'm listening to today is Full Chakra Healing Spa Music with Binary Beats. I so chronic. Chronic tones. I ain't never heard of that before. Ricky Z Re <laughs> Ricky and Zen. I'll post that link in the description box below. Um, and my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Aoka's being busy, uh, getting blessings from your past. I don't say being busy, but I meant to say uh, getting your blessings from the past. And it's just like our past can teach us so much. And it's just like, you know, when you can actually look at your past and even though it might have brought a lot of trauma or a lot of, you know, it, it, we know our, our problems and our trauma from our past can, you know, sometimes bring up mental illnesses. It all have us, you know, putting blocks up when it comes to certain people, certain things. Um, and it's just like when I can look at my life and it's just like, you know, I've been through so much. And it took a lot of strength for you to do what you're doing. It has a lot of, you know, it takes a lot of courage to be open with your life. You know, telling people, you know, the things that you went through, but the things that you're surviving from and conquer. You know, and it's just like, I can really look at my past as a blessing. And, you know, you have to look at it that way. Because it's just like, you know, when we keep recycling like the bad situations that come into our life and you know it's going through our minds for us for a reason you know it's either for us to let it go or it's trying to teach us something or is there something that you truly weren't seeing before that you probably suppressed and it's like when you you have to look at it in a positive way and I know sometimes it's hard to do I really know it's hard to do at times but you have to look at it in a positive way and it's just like I, I try to tell y'all all the time when things have been put in your path to try to destroy you and when you're able to you know get up the next day and say okay this this has happened to me it might still be happening to me or you know this is something that I really truly need to get over or you know I'm going to heal it, it, it's just memories and things come up all the time and it can put a ne negative impact on you I was watching this show called Black Ink the other day and I love that show you know they're doing different tattoos and everything and it was sad because um one of the new receptionists that started working for Black Ink uh New York um had got se sexually assaulted and I guess the person that had assaulted her had called her up and it triggered something just so quick because you know and it made me think about the things like when you know when my adopted father is trying to send me friend requests or as people in my past that I know that really truly hurt me um and it'll trigger something but then it's just like you know you never know those things are being put place those people are being put back in your life just to see if you're you have healed from everything because there can be times that I can say you know I forgive my father my adopted father but yet you know if he calls I don't know how I react to that and I know I truly need to heal you know even if he calls or you know if he pops up I have to let him know you know you don't have that kind of effect on me anymore you know even though you've hurt me the hurt and pain that you have brought to my life it brought me so many things 
that in a positive way. It impacted my life, you know, even though it brought me to a, you know, a spiritual awakening, <laughs> you, you know, to where I felt like I was going to lose my dag on mine. But then when I started making these videos and getting comfortable with telling people my story, it's brought me you know, it's brought me towards so many beautiful people, you know, and it's opened up a lot of doors for me as in a spiritual aspect of, you know, being, you know, you can spread the strength towards other people. You can spread your love towards other people. When you can turn something that was so nasty and so um, horrible that happened to you, you can flip that you know, and letting people know this is the things that I'm currently going through. These are the things that I went through. But I'm that poster board for letting you know you can go through the most jacked up situations and it might take you a minute, but you can get through this, you know, and it's that blessing. It, you know, when you, once you start into that fire, you're going to come back out totally different, you know, person. And it's like, I've seen a post and that, you know, it gave me chills. It's like, you know, when God has put you to the test and sends you through the fire and you have to have faith through that, you won't even, when, by the time you come through, at the end, you won't even smell like smoke. And I was like, if I had pearls, I'd be clutching the hell out of them right about now. Because <laughs> I was like, well, dang. You know, and I'm serious. And that's how you have to feel about your life when things have impacted you in the most traumatic way possible. Because I really felt for that girl. But then it made me think about, you know, your situation is not uh, in that situation. But y'all basically dealing with, you know, a lot of hurt and grief. You know, and that is something I know I have to heal from because it's just like, you know, I could actually talk about it. But there's times that where, you know, the memory will come back with me talking about it. It can bring up a lot of emotions. And I know my dad's just trying to tell me to heal, you know, because um, I know I'll hear the song somewhere here on earth. And it's like the last part will really trigger me, you know, and he's like, you know, I'm going to help you heal. I'm going to help you get through this. So it's just like, I know. It takes time for me to have to, you know, see all that, all that forgiveness. Even though I say I forgive my father, I forgive him about certain things, and I know I'm not really truly over it. So I know that's something I have to work on, you know. And it's just like when it comes to my ex significant other, that's something I have to work on also as well. But you know, those two situations has brought me so much strength and growth that you know I'm not going to allow myself to be controlled anymore, manipulated. You know, know my self-worth, know the self-respect to, you know, assets, no submission. <laughs> you know, just respect myself and love and light, you know, while I help others do the same as well. You know, sending out healing vibes, loving vibes all the time. And, you know, it, it's just a blessing to be able to look at my past and say, you know what, from my plat, my bad, my, look, my past has really truly brought me clarity has really truly brought me love even when I felt no love there I still feel no love there but I felt love I brought love to myself when I felt like I couldn't love myself anymore so you have to allow yourself to look at your past and know that it's blessing you in each and every way and I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video drop me a line I would love the chance to hear from you give me a thumbs up like and even share on your social media favorites as well and you know hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video and to my post notification shout out to who am I gonna give a shout out to today Miss Chantel Hudson I hope you are doing all well sis much love to you and love and light hope you had a blessed weekend and um, know that you were truly blessed, highly favored, and loved. And knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And um, so now as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And I'll see you on my next video. Hope y'all had a good weekend. And I will talk to you later. Peace. Be wise.